Hello anyone. First of all, I don't really care. I don't mind if you what you have for lunch, for dinner, for breakfast, at which time of the day, where and so on. Okay, if it's clear, please keep watching the video. If it's not clear, restart and listen again for the second time. I do not care. I do not mind what you like to drink, to eat, at which time of the day and where. Is it clear? Yes, keep watching. Not, please restart again. That's all. I'm an Italian and uh, I've seen online that there are often uh, some discussion about uh, people, waiters in restaurants and similar who refuse to serve their clients, their tourists and customers coming from abroad uh, who asked for a cappuccino. And uh, there are always several discussions about this topic uh, and uh, generally people used to comment uh, like, uh, you know, you are just a waiter, you should uh, make your job and shut up. Uh, the customer is paying uh, for your cappuccino, you can't refuse to bring him a cappuccino and so on. Okay. And uh, I, um, several times it happened to me to read several point of views by Italian people and also by uh, disappointed tourists who had some bad experience about this, uh, <laughs> this request. What's the point, the real point uh, behind uh, this uh, funny <laughs> fact that, that probably sounds uh, so strange for, uh, for uh, someone who is not uh, a native Italian? The first point you have to keep in mind is that uh, um, cappuccino is generally, most of the times, uh, considering something you take in the morning, like a breakfast, okay? Uh, like a, a hot milk with uh, cookies or a coffee or a croissant, a sweet cake uh, and similar. It's uh, something sweet and uh, mostly used in the morning. But there are other people who love the taste, the flavor of the cappuccino who use uh, to take it also in the afternoon, like me. And the second thing you have to keep in mind is that cappuccino is typically, typically something more um, related to winter, to late autumn, deep winter, or first time of uh, spring, which uh, when the weather is rather cold, because uh, for the same reason why you are not asking for a, a hot chocolate in uh, deep summer or August, okay? But there is not, uh, a written rule uh, which uh, doesn't all of you to ask for a win for a cappuccino even if uh, it's rather hot okay and this is the first part so most of italian consider it something you can have uh, on breakfast and the other part are more um, easy going <laughs> like me and they don't care. Do you like it? Do you want to drink it? Feel free to do it. Who cares? If you are happy, I'm happy too. And this is this is my policy. <laughs> this is my mood. Okay. But but I read often that uh, people saying uh, it's normal that uh, they get offended, they got angry because uh, when you go to another in another country, you have to inform yourself about their behaviors, about their cultures, about their uh, habits, and you can't go against uh, those habits, that, uh, their culture. And, uh, but I think it's not this problem, it's not a problem. Other people saying, oh, you know, in Italy food is like a religion, you can't do eat and uh, drink uh, in a, uh, as you want, as if you were uh, in USA, because they are, uh, they consider themselves uh, like, you know, chefs <laughs> and similar. But it's not the point, because, uh, yeah, we, uh, as everyone in this world, we have uh, our own culture, but um, our culture uh, doesn't say that you can't have that, can't drink that, we are not that um, closed-minded people, okay, or country. So it's not a problem about uh, culture. And most of all, nobody gets really offended or angry. This is the point. Because most of people who had, uh, let's say, problems, 
uh, ordering, asking for a cappuccino here in Italy, they complain the fact that the waiter uh, gets uh, annoyed, uh, gets uh, got uh, annoyed, got uh, nervous, got uh, angry, got. Uh, but um, it's not true. It's not true. No one will uh, would ever. Uh, get mad for that uh, toward you say oh you stupid tourist you can't understand Italian food it's not that it's not that simply we consider it uh, not good for our taste what does it mean I mean that the taste is something personal and maybe you like uh, coca-cola another one likes uh, Fanta, another one prefers drinking and having a beer and so on. That's a personal taste. I know it. We all know it. So it's not that we want to force any uh, anyone else taste or we can't accept um, their personal taste. It's not that the point. Simply, we imagine some matching disgusting. If you have a drink, for example, we love pasta, you know, and we love cappuccino too. It's uh, in our, um, we found most of people love this kind of flavors, but we will never, 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 ever drink a cappuccino while having a pasta, while eating a pasta, because uh, for us it's something crazy, mad, that two different tastes who can't stay together, okay? That's the point, the real point. Stop. I know that there is one person on uh, 1,100, uh, which is Italian, even if he is Italian, who could say, oh, who cares? Uh, I used to have a cappuccino with uh, uh, drink, uh, having a pizza, but it's really, <laughs> it's like to say, how to say, it's a, a white, uh, white fly instead of black. It's something strange, unusual, not common. So the point is that one, this one, because uh, for the same reason why you have, I've never uh, ever seen uh, anyone putting a ketchup in a hot milk uh, for breakfast, or uh, I have never met anyone dipping cookies and biscuits uh, into a, a pint of beer, um, because it would uh, sound strange uh, and say, oh, it's disgusting, how can you eat or uh, drink something like that? Don't, don't you feel, um, <laughs> is it your stomach uh, safe <laughs> doing, this, doing that? Okay, that's the point, because an Italian tries in his mind to, under, to image these uh, two flavors which don't match each other, and that in the moment while he or she imagine these two flavors together, he finds a sort of disgust. And for this reason, he tries to prevent a customer, a tourist and so on, to having this bad taste experience, okay? But it's not because uh, he gets offended or he says, oh, in Italy we don't do it, so you can't do it. It's not the point. <laughs> and um, there are other people who say, so, oh, I've, have, I have uh, lived in Italy for uh, 20 years. Uh, and I've also asked, always asked for a cappuccino with pizza and nobody ever uh, told me anything, okay? But if you notice, uh, it's more easy to have problems. Let's call them problems, okay? But uh, Clearly, those are not problems. <laughs> uh, it's more um, easy to have some discussion in a, in a high class, uh, on a high level restaurant, because there are places, uh, you know, where they don't give a, a, mm, about what you're asking for. Uh, are you going to pay me? Okay, so if you want to drink uh, fuel, I'll give you fuel. Do you want to eat, uh, I don't know, socks? I will give you socks. Because uh, simply you are paying, I don't mind you, I don't, uh, I'm not providing you a food experience, I don't care, just pay and, uh, and go out, okay. In those kind of places, pubs, bars and so on, or low-level restaurants, until you pay, they don't care. 
generally in former places where they care what they are giving you it's not a frozen old food it's something special and they care the what you're uh, drinking and um, food and uh, eating in those kind of places you probably look at you in this way but it's uh, it done it uh, doesn't mean uh, hey you stupid it means oh my god what are you asking for that's the point okay so um, please don't get uh, mad about uh, those waiter reactions and uh, they could uh, suggest you to have a water instead of uh, having a cappuccino during the food they could uh, make something like uh, have a joke on your request and after bring you the cappuccino or they could uh, maybe try to serve you the, uh, bring to you the cappuccino but later in this way you will not you will not be able to drink it while you are eating because they want you to mix the two unmatching taste uh, flavors okay i think this is this is the real uh, problem about it maybe the only one conditions uh, in which you could uh, really offend an italian a waiter and restaurant owner or similar is a chef is in the moment uh, while you be asking some for for example having some uh, extra sauce like uh, ketchup uh, tomatoes and similar on a dish italian dish because they could uh, think oh my god it means that you think that a vulgar sauce uh, economic and uh, uh, large scale uh, that you can uh, find on a supermarket for three euros five dollars and similar you think that it should it could improve the flavor of my dish it means that you think that my dish is a uh, real shit okay that could be a bit offending because uh, it's not yeah in this case uh, i am the first one telling you uh, we are not uh, it's not in our culture to use uh, uh, those kind of sauces we use uh, generally for uh, poor food or um, food for you know um, junk food or, or food anyway for kids uh, people who want to have um, a quick lunch fast food uh, they don't care the quality or uh, if something is a uh, healthy or not they simply want to feel a good taste in their mouth and they don't care anything they want just simply to pay as as few as possible and go out okay that's it that's it i hope that uh, clearly you, um, you will be able to find other point of views and i um, please keep in mind that this is not my own point point of view but uh, since i ever uh, i am born i was born here and uh, grown up here i think that uh, i'm able to give you the real average point of view of uh, the italian people that's it please don't get mad don't start uh, telling me things like oh you don't want uh, this is not freedom i am paying uh, i am free to ask for uh, everything i want if i want uh, to eat or drink it because i'm not a waiter <laughs> so i want i'm not going to the <laughs> to bring you a cappuccino anyway because it's not my job you can offer me even 100 dollars but it's not my job and uh, so it's not the, the point and uh, sincerely i really don't care probably i think it's funny i would find it funny because um, i'm the first one with uh, recently i had uh, a <laughs> an evening with my friends there was also some uh, um, people from abroad so in the um, table where we talk in english even if i'm not uh, able to talk english and uh, we have a chat and uh, after we had our dinner uh, <laughs> me and another italian friends talk to each other and say oh come on let's make something like a prank asking for the waiter to have a cappuccino <laughs> but uh, for fun because i repeat for me i really don't care i'm uh, i'm happy if you come here if you enjoy my country if you have fun and uh, so on if you like to 
drink a cappuccino while you eat a pizza or a pasta, feel free to do it from my own point of view. But I hope that this video had given to you the real reason behind all this problem <laughs> about requesting for a cappuccino during a dinner or uh, having lunch. If you, are, if you have uh, other topics, uh, a big question about Italy or Italian culture, feel free to ask in the comments.